I think we'll get the bubble phase in gold during this eight year cycle. Um, it could come quick uh, in, uh, you know, back in the um, late seventies when it, it took gold quite a, a, a amount of work to break out above that 250 level. But once it did, you know, within like, I was an eight, eight months or a year or something like that. Uh, it went from 250 to 850. So the, the bubble occurred really quickly after the breakout. Something similar could happen here if we get a, you know, once we get this breakout, it could be two years and we get our bubble phase and, and then it's done. But I do think we're going to get the bubble phase of this gold market, uh, gold bull market during this eight year cycle. Gary Savage, a retired entrepreneur, investor, and the founder of Smart Money Tracker Premium, holds the belief that gold is currently undervalued and is primed for a significant rally. He anticipates a substantial increase in the price of gold over the next few years, with the possibility of this rally occurring swiftly. Gold trended downward with prices declining 1% during a week that saw the release of U.S. CPI and PPI, which showed that inflation pressures persisted. The precious metal has been range-bound with prices lacking clear direction as market participants remain divided on whether the Federal Reserve's terminal rate has indeed been reached or if more rate hikes remain. In an interview, Gary looks at the weekly price chart and notices a low point in late June. He's talking about whether the price will decrease more or stay where it is. Gary believes it's probable the price won't drop further and will remain around its current level. According to the latest Kitco News Weekly Gold Survey, retail investors expect gold prices to increase notably by the week ending on August 18th. However, market analysts remain cautious as they await clearer signals from economic indicators and technical trends. Now, let's watch excerpts from Gary Savage's interview. Before getting into the video, please remember to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. This is the weekly chart. This would be our intermediate cycle low here right at the end of June. So we're, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're six, um, six weeks into this intermediate cycle, I think. It, it is possible that this could uh, turn back down and, and we get a lower low and, and then that would kind of reset the cycle count back to one. But I don't think so. I think this is going to probably hold. We're, we're on week six. So we, we want to see, you know, it'd be uh, really good if, if gold can recover by the end of the week and then hold above this 10 week moving average here. And then um, over the next three or four weeks, we get back up and test this, um, these all time highs uh, one more time. And that would put us there early enough to where I think we could get a breakout and a, and a sustained move. But if we, you know, futz around here and, you know, it's, like 15 weeks before we get up here and test this again, then then I don't think we're going to get a sustained breakout. Here was our, our previous eight-year cycle low here at the very end of, of 2015. And then um, the, the March low, which was a, a four-year cycle low for stocks and also a three-year cycle low for the CRB was not a major eight-year cycle low for, for gold. That came right here. I am about 99% convinced that this is the eight-year cycle low in gold. So we, we got a breakdown below this support zone here. Um, it, it was a false breakdown and then a, a, and a reversal. And that's about what you would expect uh, at a multi-year cycle low. That's how these will often uh, unfold. You'll get a kind of a manufactured breakdown that gets you know everybody bearish, everybody's selling. And the smart money buys that breakdown and then you get a reversal. So pretty confident this is an eight-year cycle low. So we are in the advancing phase uh, of the new eight-year cycle. And this, uh, you know, this eight-year cycle, we're going to break out above this triple top. Really, you know, very rarely is there uh, a triple top. Um, it, it, you know, almost always gets tested again and then you're, you're going to get a breakout. So uh, the fourth test of this is is probably going to give us our breakout, and and once uh, once gold breaks out above that twenty ninety level, there's there's no more resistance, and it's it's going to be game on. Gary emphasizes that silver's price isn't at its highest point yet, but when gold's price goes up, silver could follow and reach fifty dollars. Reaching one hundred dollars for silver is quite likely, and it might even go higher, possibly up to one hundred fifty dollars to two hundred and fifty dollars. Silver's price has gone up after reports about inflation in the U.S., as traders think the Federal Reserve might not increase interest rates too aggressively. 
If silver's price goes above $23, it could get even stronger and move toward a level where it might face resistance, which is between $24 and $24.25. Gary believes that silver is seen as undervalued right now, so buying it at its current price could be a good deal. Let's watch Gary Savage's interview with Liberty and Finance. Much different look in silver. It's, it's not testing its all-time highs at 50. Um, but I will say that when gold finally breaks out above um, the, the 2090 level, uh, silver's um, probably going to, it's going to be testing that $30 resistance and maybe breaking out above that $30 uh, resistance. And once it does, then it's kind of got, you know, a fairly clear shot up to 50. Uh, it's going to take some more work for silver to break above 50. Uh, but, you know, when we get the final bubble phase in, in the metals, um, I'm on record saying that $100 silver is going to be a piece of cake. Now, a piece of cake doesn't mean it's going to go there in a straight line. There could be, you know, lots of back and forth and lots of gut-wrenching corrections along the way, but it's going to get there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and if, you know, if we just use some, you know, some basic ratios, if, if uh, the average or the... Um, Let's just say if we just go to 30 to 1 on the gold-silver ratio, which is uh, what we did back in, I think it was 2011 at that top. Um, a 30 to 1 ratio, if gold goes to uh, 5,000, which is not much of a move, really, considering how long uh, you know we've been in this basing phase, that would put silver at about $150. Uh, if gold goes to $7,000, which is still a pretty modest move considering how big this base is, uh, that would put um, silver at about 230. And if gold goes to 10,000, a 30 to one ratio on silver to gold would be at about $330. So, I, you know, that's probably on the, the you know, maybe um, a, a bit far-fetched. I don't know that it's gonna go that high, but, but I, I guarantee gold or silver is gonna hit $100. And I think uh, between 100 and 200, 250 is probably likely, in my opinion. So silver is probably the most under undervalued commodity on the planet right now. And you're getting a chance to buy it really cheap. The recent movement in gold's price, coupled with market uncertainties regarding inflation pressures and the Federal Reserve's actions, has prompted careful consideration among both investors and analysts. What do you think about Gary Savage's views on the potential for a major rally in gold and the trajectory of silver's price? How might these insights influence your own perspective on investing in precious metals? That's all from us. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified when we release new videos. Currently, 93% of our viewers have not subscribed to our channel. Our next goal is to reach 2,000 subscribers. Please consider subscribing to our channel and helping us reach our target.